Hello everyone. Today we're going to do a few steps of a full disassembly or DeLonghi Dedica or EC680 or EC685. Um, they had a couple of versions, but uh, pretty much the same machine in, in a whole. Um, uh, this machine actually has a problem that I'm going to recover and I'm going to go over a lot of other problems that uh, has come up with this unit and hopefully you can relate and get your fix done. Um, but for the most part, when my machine heats up, it actually drips out um, my portafilter without me pressing for espresso. Um, that is an issue. We're talking uh, a valve just right off the pump. We're going to replace this guy. It's a common issue that DeLonghi had. They've improved these valves. Um, I think anything later than two, 2015 uh, come with the new improved valve. So uh, don't quote me on that year though. Uh, the other issue I have is when I do uh, brew espresso, I have dripping coming out my steam wand, which is a secondary valve um, that we're going to replace uh, today. So I actually have two issues. It's not the same issue. Um, both issues have been recognized by DeLonghi and uh, they've put out bulletins about that. But uh, we're going to fix those and we're going to we're going to actually um, get this back up to stuff. All right, so before I start, I'm just gonna make myself an espresso. I have lots of caffeine to get it get going. I've already packed the portafilter and So I have been get, experiencing some leaking through here when I make an espresso because it's all under pressure so it's just leaking through that valve and second to that when it heats up I am getting it leaking through the brew head which I'm going to replace the other valve to cure that issue. espresso I think we're gonna get started all right I think we're ready for the tear down so I'm just going to do a few things here I'm gonna turn it off of course I'm actually going to unplug the unit I definitely don't want any anything live um, and I'm gonna take off all the accessories again so everything's coming off the drip tray we have a little small internal drip tray Port a filter out. Now our machine's still a little hot, but we will definitely be able to work with that. And take our tank off. There we go. And at this point, we can start tearing down. Before I do, I just want to go through a few tools that I'm going to need today. Um, they're not so crazy tools but uh, there are a few that might seem a little odd. Um, DeLonghi loves that security Torx. I believe it's a T20 and um, it's just got the hole in the middle. If it doesn't have the hole, if your unit, if your screwdriver doesn't have the hole in the middle you won't be able to undo uh, the machine to repair it. So, But they're readily available at any hardware store. Um, I usually always like to have a pick just to pick out the o-rings because if I'm going to take something apart with an o-ring um, I, I need to get that o-ring out before I put the hose back in but we'll go over that on reassembly um, normal screwdriver Phillips here we go and I also have uh, these come in different shapes and sizes but these are going to um, reclamp the hose clamps and um, these are also readily available at the hardware store. So that's pretty much it for our tools and uh, I guess we can get get started on it. So the first thing I do I just want to take this uh, steam wand off. I'm gonna use just leverage from the pick. I'm not gonna use the pick itself or the tip of it. 
and I can just pull that right off. We'll set that aside. Come to the back, and we have a couple of Phillips screws here. And this, we can just undo quickly. Keep everything organized. There we go. Now, at this point, we could take the top off, but I just want to protect everything inside there at the moment. So I'm going to leave that in there. I'm going to leave the top on. I'm going to turn this unit over on its head. So, I just always like to have a towel down and we'll turn it over. I'm just going to show you. There's multiple screws here. Um, these two are Phillips, very normal, and they're very short. These guys here are uh, security torques, so you need that special screwdriver to get those out, but you can find that at your local hardware store. Okay, so I'll just start with Phillips. Okay, we have all, all the screws out. I just want to do a quick reminder that these screws are a different size than the front two screws. I'll just show you the difference of these guys. Um, don't put the long ones in the front because you will damage your machine. And it's uh, then you'll have to replace the frame, the, the outer work. So, um, and I don't even know if that's actually available for replacement. But anyways, we're right here, we're at the bottom here. Um, we have access to our hoses from the inlet of the tank, our power switch, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take these hoses off. Now, DeLonghi actually had a, um, a service bolt in about these hoses. If you have a hose with the blue line, it's, been, it's an updated hose. You have a hose that does not have a blue line, and this one's not going to matter too too much. But the um, the hose without the blue line was causing problems where it was disintegrating and leaking at that point. So you might have to change a hose, but these are available, and we can link the part number in the in the bottom. Okay, so with the hoses off, we should actually be able to experience our unit to pull out the top when we're ready okay so I've just come back here I'm just gonna wiggle this up and I'm going to use my, my pick just to get in there and pop it up open like there and there we go so we do have a ribbon cable to the front interface I'm just gonna pull that back I'm just gonna pull this straight out and just give it a wiggle back and forth don't pull it don't tug on it at once and it'll come off fairly easy I see a little bit of residue up here this is a good indication that this machine is having a problem with the steam valve so we're gonna definitely take care of that today okay and then I'm just gonna set this guy aside okay so to get to the insides we're just going to take out a few screws here um, that's holding this whole inside unit to the framework. Um, there's four screws, two in the front, two in the side here, and we should be able to get this guy right out. So let's get those out. This last one over here, you might have to push the hose aside a little bit, but you should be able to get down to the bottom to get on that screw. There we go. There we go. 
So four screws out. Um, oh, sorry, we got one more. Same side. It's actually holding the steam valve in place. the steam valve uh, we've released the small shroud and the inside should come up but we just have to do a little bit of prep work um, I'm gonna pull, pull our micro switch off and just a little clip here and it should just pull right up I don't even have to take the wires off because I'm gonna use this on my next valve I'm just going to remember that it's going to sit in this position. And I'll take this with me. Set that aside. And suck into this. I'm just going to pull the hose out um, just to release. Yep. Here we go. Inside here is the o ring. So I'm always going to pull the o ring out and inspect it. Um, I'll put the the part number of the o-ring in the link below but uh, for the most part if it's you know not a five ten year old machine we can reuse that but they're very inexpensive so there we go we've got the steam valve released and now we can start pulling the pulling the machine apart so that's where this video is going to end today uh, to purchase the full teardown with examples of the issues I mentioned before, click on the link in the description or visit my website at coffeedrum.com.